Well, hello, Stone Unit. Happy Monday. It's four o'clock. It's later than I wanted to do this video, but I had to get in front of you. I had to share some great news and share what is happening in February. And so I've talked to many of you. Some of you I've not. I know you've gotten some emails. You've seen some things on Facebook. But girls, I just wanted to just be able to speak to you live of just what is happening in this month of February. And so we're six days in. Today's February 6th. Um, you guys, everything, I hope you realize what February is, not to mention the most amazing spring colors. Um, hello, today is the biggest teaser ever that spring is really coming. I don't know about that whole ground tall thing. I don't even know. I don't even really get that shadow, no shadow, whatever. Spring is coming. I do know that. I do know it's coming, and there's nothing like spring colors that get women excited. More excited than just fun, fresh colors and that's exactly what our new spring line so if you did pcp or a star you can order them on the 10th if not you can get them on the 15th but this is what i wanted to talk to you about i pray you listened to our last video about having a fearless february a fearless february that you are not created to think in lack you are not created to think in victim mentality you are not created to think in, that you're inadequate you weren't created to be fearful at all. And I spoke about that in the last video. And that is something I'm so passionate about of, you know, when we start carrying all this stuff, when we start thinking these thoughts, when we start allowing these thoughts in our brain, that's not how we were created. We were created in his image. So we weren't created to think that we are nothing but a conqueror. You guys, if you watched that game last night, Super Bowl, and I know you're sick of seeing about it on social media, and maybe you watched the game, and so here's the thing, no one is probably that really excited about the Super Bowl teams this year, but we were excited about the food and the commercials, right? And so I was that excited about the food and commercials myself. And so the crazy thing was everything changed in this game in the last 57 seconds. The last 57 seconds, you guys. I was having a conversation with Jake and Olivia on the way to school this morning about what did you learn from that Super Bowl game? What did you learn? Ah, the, so here's the thing. You get in the Super Bowl, you know how to play football. I mean, your skill set is pretty strong. Uh, the coaches are great coaches. You just don't accidentally. What, why those two teams are there is because they have a championship mindset and a championship skill set. So no one ever doubts that. Oh, my gosh, that's why they're in the Super Bowl championship playoff game, right? But the game was won yesterday not because of skill set, not because of football ability. The game was young, was won. History was made because they decided to think different. History was made because up to the last 57 seconds, they saw themselves as winning. They thought different. They thought bigger than the other team. Maybe the other team got a little too confident. Maybe the other team got a little too hmm, prideful. They thought it was over. Hello, we all thought it was over. In fact, it was crazy. Like my dad left my house in the third quarter because he's like, well, this is over. And, you know, I'd like to know how many people shut off the game because it was like, well, this is done, you know, woohoo. And so I love it. It was such a principle of we were made and created to think like winners and conquerors, period. And they pulled it out. They pulled it out the last, but they did not allow them to think any less, regardless of the number, regardless of the scoreboard. Ah, oh, love that principle. It's how we were created. And if we're not thinking that way, if we're not acting that way, why aren't we? Because everything in the word points otherwise to us. And that's the only way I know how to deal with my thinking. That's the only way I know how to deal with any fear and adequacies and feelings is the word. I don't know how people get through the day. You know, it's our sword. It's our armor. <laughs> it protects. It shields. It fights for me. I don't know, but I know that's the only way I get through that. And so, girls, it is a fearless February. And so I want to challenge you because I'm super excited. Oh, my gosh, I've been thinking about this since yesterday. As far as what is happening, February is all we know. February is a love month, right? And we give I stories, and we talk about our I story, and we love talking about dreams and our stories. And so this month of February, we're going to talk about our love story, the love story of Mary Kay, one, the love story of the product. And what it is about the company, about the mission, just what makes us so different from not just other cosmetic companies, but just from other even businesses in general. So here's the thing. We're partying. I want to challenge one. There's, there's two different, there's three things, not third one, three different challenges that I want you to latch onto 
I really do. If there's anything you want to focus on in February, I want to give it to you. This is when you need to write this down. There's three things I want you to focus on in February. And these are going to be the three. This is just the fruit. These are the results. So the first thing is, is you have to know what is your goal? What do, what do you want your profit going for? What do you want your profit going for? Gosh, what is that near to your heart? What do you need to save money for? Is it for something for this summer? Is it something you need? You just need to pay a bill by the end of this month. And you're like, yikes, how's this going to happen? So whatever it is, I hope you've got to be passionate about that. Of This is the non-negotiable. This is what has to happen by February the 28th. All right? So here's the thing we're focused on. In the month of February, five parties in February. Why wouldn't? Why would we not want to do five parties in February? Why would we not? So that can break down to you if you want to see five faces a week. So number one is five faces a week. Five by Friday. Five by Friday. Who's good? So you can do them all at one time, or you can do them five individually. That is going to be your call. Five faces by Friday. Number two, five interviews by Friday. You can see a theme here. Five faces by Friday, five interviews by Friday, 500 in sales by Friday. So what that's doing, it's gauging every part. It's gauging your retail goal, the 500. It's gauging how many faces you're seeing. That's new customers. And it's gauging how many interviews you are seeing, you are having. Five faces, five interviews, 500 by Friday. And you know what I'm doing? This is so fun. You know I love doing fun stuff, and you know I love giveaways, and I love it when I know it and you don't yet. So here's what we're going to do. Every Friday at 5 o'clock, imagine that, 5 at Friday, you need to tune in because I'm going to be doing a live drawing every Friday at 5. Your name is going to go in the drawing when you see five faces in the week, so the last seven days. So this past Friday, which was what, February 2nd, 3rd, whatever that was, look that up, okay? So last Friday... To this coming Friday, that's a week. So this coming Friday, I'm doing a drawing. So it's whatever you've done this seven days, okay? So if you've done five faces, your name goes in the drawing one time. It takes a minimum of five faces to get your name in the drawing. It takes, if you've done 500 retail, your name goes in the drawing. Minimum of $500 retail. And if you've done your five interviews, your name goes in the drawing. Let's say you do the more than that. Let's say you do 10 faces, then your name goes in twice. You do 10 interviews, your name goes on two times. You with me on that? I'm going to do this live drawing every Friday. Every Friday by 5 o'clock. I'm excited about it. You excited about it? Should I tell you what we're doing? I mean, I just like, the, I just like 5. So, so here's the fun thing. I do get excited about giving things away. I get excited about seeing your faces. I get excited about hearing what you're going to do with it. And so here's the deal. Every Friday at 5. I'm giving away 50 bucks. 50 bucks every Friday at 5. I sure am. So if you're the only one in the drawing, guess what? Ah! You won your 50 bucks. Do whatever. Go out for the weekend. Go get a massage. Do whatever you want. Get your beauty smock with that. Whatever it is that you want. And so five by Friday. We're doing this all through February. It's a fearless February. It will be a fruitful February. A fruitful February. So we need connection. We have got, you guys, you and I need to connect for the interview. How to make that happen. So here's the thing I'm going to leave you. Um, how the interviews are going to happen. Number one, tomorrow night. We're in Salisbury. It's a facial night. We're going to be sharing the skincare facial. So we're, we're going to do it in Millsboro. We're going to be in Salisbury, both at 630. That is a night. Anyone you bring there can count as your facials and can count as your interviews. Okay, get your sales there. Tomorrow night is a smart night for your business. Very smart night. One, because you will learn a lot about product knowledge. You'll see presentation. You're going to hear about interviewing. We will talk to them about booking a color party with you. You guys, if there's a night of fruitfulness, it is tomorrow night. It truly is. So you bring five individual people. You'd be three one-on-ones. However many you can load up. Let them know you're in training, that you're learning. That you're learning about product knowledge, that you're learning about foundation, because they're going to get their foundation matched. You guys, that's a big deal. People want that. My gosh, don't underestimate that. People pay $40 for foundation just for the service of getting it accurately matched at a counter. Oh my gosh, don't underestimate that. So that's tomorrow night. Tuesday night, that's going to be an opportunity. And also opportunity for five interviews is going to be Wednesday night. I'm going to have an eavesdrop for an eyeshadow nice phone call. It's where they simply call in. You guys, that is on the closing sheet that they check. They're willing to call in. I will be, um, if you look on here, I texted a little script, a little text message that you can send out to get women on the call. Um, if they can't call in, I'm doing one-on-one -on -one phone calls with them. I am. 
Dorothy and I were talking and she did something really cool. She was at a party and she says, hey, she was talking to one of her girls. She says, hey, she says, I'm working really closely with my director, you know, and um, I've got some big goals that are happening right now. And she's just calling some of the women that I've been facing just to ask you two quick questions. She's just critiquing me so I can get better. Would it be okay if she just gave you a quick call and asked you these two, two quick questions? That's it. What that does, that sets me up to be able to call her. And I'm going to talk about you like I am, like good things, you guys. I'm going to talk about you. But then I'm also going to speak about her and what her number was on the Did You Know sheet and what you thought about her. So, guys, there's so many different ways. Those five interviews can happen so many different ways. You can knock them all out Tuesday night. You can knock them all out five on the call on Wednesday night um, or just one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I'm going to a party this week with one of the consultants and then I'm having a personal party on Thursday night. Some of the girls are coming with me just to watch and see what that is. So five by Friday. So Friday, five o'clock, I'm doing that drawing. So girls, if you've had your sales and seen faces and I know I've interviewed with you or for you by last Friday, get in touch with me. I want your name in that drawing. I want to give away a $50 bill, a crisp $50 bill every Friday. I can't wait to see it. We're going to have the spring line there tomorrow night in Salisbury and in Millsbury. You're going to be able to see it. Oh my gosh, it so gets you in the mood for spring. You guys, I'm excited for your fearless February where you will flourish. I can't wait to see you. I'm here to talk to you. And you have an awesome, get on the phone. We got to talk to people. Who are we going to call? Who are we going to get there tomorrow night? Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.